Hello and welcome to Kevin's Miniatures and Hobby Table. This is episode 9. This time around we're going to be doing another painting tutorial. Uh, the subject is this Reaper Dyer Bear in 28mm. It's a pretty large figure for 28mm, uh, but it's got a lot of interesting texture in it and it uh, should be a pretty fast painting project. Uh, it came in three pieces, uh, two arms and the body. Uh, the fit wasn't good uh, with the arms. Uh, they've already been uh, kind of glued in, puttied, textured. Uh, of course the whole figure has been um, primed and uh, inked and it is uh, now ready to uh, go up uh, upstairs for painting and uh, we're going to uh, start with the airbrush, get the base colors down and then uh, move on to some brushwork to finish it off. Uh, should go pretty quick so I hope you enjoy this. All right, see you upstairs. Okay, uh, starting uh, the airbrush on the bear with uh, three tones of Vallejo Game Air Brown, uh, starting with the shade and then moving up to the highlight browns. Uh, I realize now probably what I should have done is started with the mid-tone um, color of brown and then painted in the shading and uh, finally painted uh, in the highlighting. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, everything turned out okay. One final overspray of bone white just to hit the uh, top of the highlights on the top of the figure. And uh, that leaves us with a warm, rich, multi-toned brown over the entire figure. Next thing we're doing is going in with uh, an umber wash and what this will do is it will bring back uh, all of the deep recesses of the detail in the figure uh, that have been kind of, um, uh, kind of washed away with the, uh, the airbrush work. Next we're going into dry brushing. I've got uh, three tones of brown uh, here, an old uh, Citadel uh, Vermin Brown for the first dry brushing pass and then uh, two foundry paints. <clears throat> a tan and a palomino uh, to do the uh, topmost highlights on the brown uh, color. Now this bear obviously is um, essentially all brown fur so uh, what you're going to be seeing here is uh, several passes of dry brushing followed by uh, multiple passes of washes and uh, the reason for doing that is to make the uh, color and detail in the figure as, uh, as rich and noticeable as possible. It's uh, quite easy with a large monotone uh, figure to just uh, give it one pass of one color and say that it's done, uh, but to add as much uh, visual interest uh, into it as possible, uh, we want to take uh, lots of uh, different passes of uh, color. Uh, here we're moving on to the muzzle. Uh, a lot of the uh, source material that I had uh, uh, picked up on the internet for uh, grizzly bears uh, had shown some bears with a light colored muzzle and are also um, dark uh, extremities on the limbs. Uh, so we're going to try for that here. Uh, here we're going to um, a dark umber uh, wash uh, with glaze medium added and uh, this will be uh, one more uh, kind of shading pass uh, for the entire figure. And as I said, on this one, there's just multiple passes of dry brushing and uh, washing with uh, plenty of time left in between each washing pass to let everything dry. Here we're doing another uh, light uh, dry brushing pass. And after this is done, uh, we're we'll doing one more washing pass to uh, tie the uh, to tie the colors uh, all together. Now, with such a large figure uh, with so much brown fur on it, uh, the eye needs a focal point. Uh, so, what uh, you'll be seeing in the rest of this video is just a fair bit of concentration on the face of the figure. So, detailing in uh, the muzzle, uh, the mouth, uh, the eyes, and the ears. Uh, this is to, uh, once again, to create a visual focal point uh, when people are looking at the figure. Here we're taking uh, the black shade and um, hitting the outer extremities of the limbs uh, to make them as dark as possible. As I said in uh, some of the uh, grizzly bear uh, photographic material that I'd pulled together as reference, um, we had uh, you know, a fair number of images uh, showing uh, grizzly bears with these uh, darker limbs, and that's what that's about. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, moving into the face area, a fair bit of time uh, is spent uh, here just detailing the, uh, the muzzle and the mouth and the nose and the eyes. Fortunately, there was a good bit of uh, sculpted detail here, so it was uh, pretty easy to paint. 
Here's a highlight pass of that uh, Palomino color. Okay, next we're moving on to the inside of the mouth. We're taking a pale flesh and a uh, kind of a grayish white color, uh, mixing them together to make a very, very light uh, fleshy pink tone and uh, just hitting uh, the inside of the mouth uh, with this color. Uh, this is then going to be darkened up with a series of washes, starting with uh, a sepia shade, uh, then moving to a, a flesh tone wash, and uh, finally you'll see a couple of passes with, uh, with just a red wash uh, to put in. Uh, kind of that, uh, uh, that, uh, that red detail inside the mouth. Next we're doing the eyes. Uh, they first get hit with a very dark brown, uh, then a black uh, pupil is put into each eye. And then uh, we're going to finish off with an off-white on the eyes. It's just going to be a small dot on the top of each uh, eyeball to give it a specular highlight. And then moving on to the nose. Uh, the nose is uh, obviously painted black and it'll be uh, highlighted with a, uh, with a dark gray. Here's that uh, red wash that's going to be um, uh, put uh, inside the mouth. There will be a couple of passes of this. Next we're moving on to the claws and teeth with uh, Reaper Ivory uh, Triad. Ivory shade color is uh, first going to be uh, applied uh, to every claw and then to the teeth. And as this paint uh, dries, it darkens up a little bit, and uh, you'll see the necessity for the uh, mid tone and highlight uh, ivory colors to be put on. And after those claws are done, obviously, we're moving uh, inside the mouth and getting the teeth there. All right, moving on to the mid-tone ivory color. Obviously, as the mid-tones and highlights are being put on, uh, we leave some of the shade color to still be seen and, and uh, kind of create that color progression. And here the tips of the teeth are getting their mid-tone. And then uh, onto the highlights. And the highlights are just applied to the very uh, tips of uh, the claws and the teeth. Once the teeth uh, have their highlight, uh, we're going to go back in and do one more um, kind of reddish wash pass uh, inside the mouth. So I had uh, painted the base before starting the figure, but obviously as you're uh, airbrushing, you get a lot of overspray onto the base. So I'm just uh, picking the detail back out again with dry brushes of uh, orange brown and off white. And uh, once uh, those layers are on, then I'll be moving on to the rock work. Uh, once again, using an old Citadel color called Deneb Stone uh, on the rock work. And uh, once that's all on and dried, then I'm going to be hitting the uh, rock work with a secret weapon wash called Stone. And you can see it being put down here. I don't want to put it on too thick, just dabbing it in. And once that's dry, I'm just going in and uh, dry brushing over the rock work one final time. After that's ready to go, we're just going to finish off the base with, uh, with black paint uh, that's going to go on around the raised rim. And 
this is uh, quite quick. This uh, just goes around the edge of the base, and uh, it's I'm putting it on pretty thin, uh, so uh, I'll take two passes at it just to build up the uh, the dark black color. After that uh, base is dry and all the other colors are dry, uh, everything gets hit with Tester's Dull Coat and now we're going to move on to finishing off the base. So some watered down white glue is going to be dabbed on in patches on the soil of the base and uh, once all that uh, glue, that watered down white glue is down there, then we're going to be sprinkling uh, static grass onto the base and uh, that should finish it off. All right, and the static grass is going on now. Once that's on, it'll just be flicked off, and that's the whole figure. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, there's the detail in the muzzle area and the eyes, uh, which was really important for this figure. Take care, and thanks for watching.